let's take a pause on covering uh, events around the continent to do with the coronavirus and uh, go back to another uh, top story. It's always there in the background. Uh, and the question of how much of a threat Islamic State is in Libya, bearing in mind the constant violent upheaval in the country since the civil war of 2011 and the overthrow of uh, Muammar Gaddafi. So many armed groups vying for control in different areas. We don't often hear about the strength of the presence of Islamic State. We usually talk about the internationally backed government in the West, uh, the armed forces led by Khalifa Haftar, the general from the West. Well, IS, of course, always benefits from chaotic situations, and it's hard to think of a more chaotic situation in Libya. So what's it doing? It's been studied in detail by the International Centre for the Study of Radicalisation at King's College London. And the report's author is Inga Trouthig, who I'm delighted to say joins us now. Inga, thank you for your time. What kind of presence and what kind of actions do you detect uh, carried out by IS at the moment in Libya? Yeah, good morning. Thanks for having me. So um, with the report, um, ICSR I'm, is really aiming at providing data about the debate about Islamic State around the world because we heard repeatedly that it is allegedly defeated. And what I'm showing in my report with the data that I collected, that Islamic State in Libya, at least over the last one and a half, almost two years, has been uh, a small force, it's not one of the main relevant forces in the countries, but it's been continuously active during the entire time, not vanishing from the country and with that posing a threat to any future Libyan state building. And Islamic State has a prime interest also in staying in Libya because of Libya's location. Right. How do they align themselves in amongst the mosaic of competing militias and interests in the country? Are they a sort of standalone or do they they pick sides according to their own convenience. So Islamic State in Libya very much tries to be its own force mm. and uh, portray itself as uh, the force that should uh, should be ruling. I mean, it's far from that right now. But I think they've learned from less uh, from mistakes in the past. So in 2015, 2016, as we know, Islamic State in Libya had its strongest province outside their core territory of Iraq and Syria. Mm. However, they managed to like uh, uh, alienate or to scare away actually many Libyans because of their ultimately very brutal and harsh rule. Mm. Um, so now that they need to survive in the country, um, especially they're active more in the southern parts of Libya, there are reports that they have been in trying to align and accommodate um, local forces in order to survive and also to benefit from, for example, the smuggling networks that are active in the right, south Right, okay, of Libya. so the kind of like the branding is always important. And briefly, I know that many Libyans left to fight for IS, or at least that's what we thought happened. Uh, who, is their, who is their core support? Is it people coming back, having been in Syria, the Caliphate and elsewhere? So we don't have much evidence yet for uh, many people coming actually from uh, the core caliphate to Libya. There um, are several reasons that uh, likely for that. One of them is that Libya is not a very hospital environment at the moment. Mm -hmm. And the other one is that Islamic State in Libya in their propaganda tries to portray themselves um, more favorably and more attractively than they actually are. So in our assessment, Islamic State in Libya is much more reliant and is trying much harder to actually take advantage of the vulnerable population in Libya, like migrants passing through, take advantage of the linkages to sub-Saharan Africa, and in the long term, probably try to build on the grievances that are built in Libya because of the current civil war. Fascinating. Many, many thanks indeed, Inga. Inga Trouthing of the International Centre for the Study of Radicalisation based at King's College, London.